to prepare for anything. I'm prepared to do some eating this morning. What about Look you? Look at this. I sit down and, and you got a meal prepared appear. for you. How does that feel? This is a beautiful show. Yes, it is. Well, get your taste buds ready. We are talking Chicago Gourmet. It's the nation's premier culinary experience created by the Illinois Restaurant Association. And here to talk more about it is the Lexus culinary master, Michelle Bernstein. He's already ready to go, Michelle. Yes, he is. I see the fork in your hand. How do you get to be a master? Yeah. I'm really lucky. So, a Lexus culinary master, they they choose some of um, the country's most premier chefs and restaurateurs and and like culinary personalities and I get the call like I got the call I'm a chef and yeah. I've been a chef for many years and you jump up and down you get really excited because you get to craft these experiences that are in people's memories forever you it's know kind of, kind of like getting that gold maple leaf there and well you know. <laughs> you know there's awards and then there's the Lexus culinary master yeah. right so no it's it's pretty amazing and I travel the country with them doing some of the best food and wine events and and we just we craft these events and they're just they're they're so beautiful and so perfect and to be a brand ambassador with with a brand like Lexus you know Very that cool. everything is just about perfection and and these amazing experiences you'll take with you. Mm -hmm. What yeah. do we have in front of us? Right okay, now? did so, you prepare this? Uh, so this is my dish for tonight. Okay. Mm -hmm. So today I'll be at Prost in the Park. They have me doing a German event for Chicago Gourmet, mm. and we're going to be on the rooftop of Harris Theater. Yes. You know, I'm from yes. Miami, so no, it's this okay. is, I'm trying it's to okay. like, get my um, my bearing <laughs> down. So we'll be in the rooftop, and it's a German event, so you can imagine the drinks and the food. So this is a smoky potato salad with sausages that we actually made in Miami by hand and brought them over last night. Um, they're filled with lamb and mustard. What I don't do you think? think? Of Miami as being a sausage making capital oh, of the, are of the world. Oh, Yeah. We well, have our chorizos. Well, of course well, we that are. makes sense. That, that makes sense. sense. What this do you think so far? This is really a nice take on like yeah. German potato salad. I've never had um, it's kind of a, how would you describe the... Uh, so, the potatoes are so, smoked. Okay. There's pickled mustard seed and there's pickled scallions in it. A little tiny oh. touch of mayonnaise um, and just a lot of herbs. This is very, very it tasty. Is very good. This Thank is like you. something I've never had before. I hope um, that's a good something. It is a good thing. It is, good. It is it a is. very it good is. thing. And, you know, which amazes me because, you know, we have so many foods that we're used to eating, and then all of a sudden, here's a new variety, here's a new take on it. And well, it's like, how yeah. do you come up with this new stuff? That's what we want to do. What we yeah. do, that's right. So, I actually dream food. I wake up really? food. Really? Yeah, even like for the kids at home, when I'm making something in the morning, I just want it to be that much better. This mm. is my life. Like you all probably think about how to be better on air or how to no, talk about. Yes, no, you do. <laughs> That's my life, and I just I'm, I'm surrounded no, by. It. My husband and I own restaurants. We own bars. This is what we do. We so love it. So you own restaurants in Miami? Of course, okay. restaurants and bars in Miami. Now yeah. I know who to call when I come out to Miami. Yeah, right. Yeah, I'll have to wait in line and book reservations. I'll give you my number to get in. Yeah. I'll make sure that, to do that. That is fantastic. <laughs> I know this is really some really awesome stuff. I'm waiting to eat yeah. until I go off uh, off camera because I want to really chow down but what has it been like to be a part of uh, Chicago Gourmet? Oh, it's been wonderful. I've done it for a couple of years and the people of Chicago know food like they we do. Yeah. Well, y'all take it seriously, yes. right? So, when I come, I I know I have to bring game. Right? Because um, a game. Yeah, <laughs> totally the a game because everyone is expecting you know, they're paying the money, they right. come in, they expect a great experience, and everyone has to give it to them. And I feel like the chefs here, and the food is so good in Chicago. And so all of your incredible chefs are there too. And those of us that have come from other places are there to just, you know, add a little bit of layer of flavor, mm -hmm. more flavors, you know, different flavors from wherever we hail from. And it's, it's exciting. I mean, I love Chicago Gourmet. I think they put on a great event. And last year I did the Mexican one, and this year I'm doing the German one, and so we're just mixing it shaking up. it up a little is bit. It, is it difficult to come up with like different genres of food? I mean, you're doing this country, and then we're going over here, right? Or is it all just kind of food to you that you're it's not? Making magic? And you know, I need to respect, and so I know that I'm representing not only the food group and where it stems from. Uh, I also am representing Lexus, and I'm also right. representing me and my chef mm -hmm. and my restaurant. So. It's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. to come up with one little simple dish. It takes a lot, and this took me, you know, a couple weeks to really get right. I wanted to make the sausage perfect, and then started thinking about the potato salad. There's actually a drizzle that'll go on tonight when we get to Prost in the Park, but I have to make it later. You're like a okay. chef's chef, yes, aren't you? Yes, I now, can tell that. You, you said, you know, how much passion you have. When you were a little girl, did you dream of growing up to be a chef? No, I was a ballerina. 
I was really? a professional ballerina okay. until I switched, and my biggest problem with ballet was that I couldn't eat enough. And so <laughs> I dreamt of the dishes, and I'm Argentinian, and so my mother was an amazing cook, and she did all this Argentine and Italian food, and being Jewish to boot, it was a lot of matzo ball soup. But all this delicious food we grew up with, and that was my biggest problem was I wanted to eat it and I wanted to make it, but and I was dancing. And now you're doing it. And now I'm doing it. Yeah, yeah. now you're doing it. And I love it so much. I mean, honestly, just as much passion goes into when I wake up and I cook for the children and I cook for my husband at home, when I go to the restaurants and we cook there, and when I cook for these incredible culinary events like we have today with Chicago Gourmet. Well, I you feel know the what? passion. We are in passion. That's what it's it is. It's a lot of it. That's, uh, and it shows here. I got to eat it. All yeah. right. We appreciate mm -hmm. you coming on the show with mm -hmm. us. No, thank you all for bringing me mm -hmm. on. All right.